Hello. In this video, I'd like to go over uh, logging in remotely and securely uh, into your server. Now, in our last video, we went over uh, logging in through SSH from the command line. So we'll go ahead and do that again. Um, and then the command is SSH space and then the username of the server you want to log into and then at and then the server IP address okay and then you press enter it'll prompt you for the password of the user on that server all right press enter and you are in okay so this is uh, how we log in remotely securely to our server so let's just go ahead and clear the screen and then as an experiment I went ahead and created uh, three folders or directories okay now to create a folder is very simple all you gotta do is type in the command mkdir space and then the folder name whatever name you want it to be let's make this one public and press enter then do an ls and you should see the folder in there okay and then to change or go into that folder you type in the, the command cd which says for change directory space and then the directory name or the folder name which in this case is just going to be public you can type out public one or two letters and then tap hit the tab button and it'll auto complete it for you and then you press enter and now we are in the public folder right now the public folder is empty okay and we can also create a file in this folder we can create a file in any folder but since we're in the public folder I'll show you how to create a file there you just use the command touch space and then the file name and then hopefully the extension which in this case will be a text file okay and you just press enter do a ls and there's the file name now there's another way of creating a file and that's when you open it up under a text editor uh, for us we're going to go ahead and use vim but you can use nano emacs or what have you uh, so to open up another file or create another file let's type in our text editor for me it's going to be vim space and then the file the file name okay and then the extension of that file name and then press enter and now we're in now depending on which uh, text editor you use you use that text editor's command to put in your information for us it's just going to be I for insert and then we just type in whatever we want this is a test file and then once you're done typing in your information for vim or vi this is vim actually you just uh, press the exit button and then down at the bottom it'll show up there you just type in colon w for write write this file write and save this file and q for quit then you do an ls and you'll see the file underscore two also in there okay so that's how you create folders and you create files and you can do that whether you're logged in through uh, ssh or not um, but the reason why I wanted to do that is I wanted to show you another way of logging in securely uh, and it doesn't matter which operating system you have you just need to make sure that you have the package open SSH dash server okay open SSH has a uh, has several packages that allow you to uh, SSH in remotely uh, through a secure line and also SCP which stands for secure pop copy a file from one point to another securely remotely so for now let's go ahead and log out of our server okay and you do that just by typing in the exit command press enter and you're logged out okay 
Now, the other way of logging in is through uh, Secure FTP and Secure SCP, okay? And that's very simple. What you do is you go to, um, you, you open up your file manager, okay? And your file manager is where you see all of your folders at. In Windows, you're going to see uh, documents, downloads, music, yada yada. Um, in uh, Apple, you'll see you'll see whatever the folders are in there. So, for uh, this is Linux uh, Mint. So, for Linux Mint, what you want to do on your keyboard, or well, yeah, we'll do it first on the keyboard. On your keyboard, you want to uh, get an address bar. So, on your keyboard, you do. You press the command Control and L, and as you can see, you have an address box there. Okay. Another way of getting there. Oh, wait a minute. Let's go ahead and close that, and then we'll open it back up. And another way of getting there. Let's see. If you go through, what is it? I believe it is. Oh, there it is. You go under Go, and then you go down to Location. Left click on Location, and that opens up an address bar as well. Now, to uh, secure FTP back into your server, what you wanna do is you wanna go through the address bar, and you wanna type in SSH, and then as if you were doing uh, HTTP, you would do colon, forward slash forward slash and then you want to type in the IP address of your server which for us is 192.168.1.11 okay and then you press enter I think we I think I forgot to put in the username but let's just go ahead and press enter anyway okay Normally, it would ask you for a username and password, but I already have, I've already logged in. That's why it went ahead and let me in. Okay, and then what we want to do is go to the home page of the user, or I'm sorry, the home folder of the user. Here it is right here under home, and you just want to double click on it, and then you can see the user folder name, and double click on that. And then you see the folders here. You see the folder that we created, which was public. All right, and then you just double click public and you can see the two files that we created earlier. Now, the reason why I wanted to show you this is you can also, once you log in remotely through secure uh, FTP or SSH, you can also transfer files from your from your remote uh, location to your server, okay? And, and it's just as easy as dragging and dropping, as long as you have permission to, to do that on this server. And I'm just gonna take this one folder that says move to the server, and I'm gonna drag and drop it in there. And as you can see, we have it installed on our server, okay? And then, you can all you can open up the contents and there's my there's my file within my folder open it up and you see that I have content in my file okay all right so I just wanted you guys to see that there was another way of uh, logging in securely uh, to your remote server uh, you can do it through the uh, the terminal which we shown here you can also log in remotely which we've shown from here okay um, if you want to transfer from one file to another file easily I would suggest you use the secure FTP okay and that's just like we said before uh, opening up a file uh, a fi your file manager and then doing an SSH colon forward slash forward slash and then IP address and then it usually will prompt you up for a username and password you just put that in and then it'll let you into your server okay so that's all for today thank you very much 
I appreciate you looking at this video. Please like and subscribe, and you have a good day.